stop for a second. Uh, before we continue on with this blocking drill, I want to point something out. There's something I'm seeing, and it's something you should already be aware of. Let me have Blake get into a horse stance. Okay, now when he does his outward block, go ahead and just get in the position, do an outward block. His block should sit just outside his shoulders. Remember your box, shoulder width, and you project it in front of you. And this is our reference frame for many of our blocking movements. A lot of people are going just a little bit too wide. You want it to sit just outside. Now, why don't we want it inside the corner? Well, if he brings it in and I push, okay, push back against me, you can see that structure is not too strong. But now if it sits just outside the shoulders and I push, that's a much stronger structure, more stable structure that can handle a greater impact, of course. That's why that's important. Well, you might say, okay, but if he goes wider, he still has his structure. That's not what I'm concerned about. What I'm concerned about is if he goes wider and say I go to throw a strike at him, now he's going to come in and block it. Go ahead, you can block just to illustrate. So this is what we're dealing with, maybe a one-two combination here. So now if he goes a little bit too wide, he's going to try to block this. Okay, ready? And I got him. Uh, we'll do that one more time. Just, uh, pay attention, you'll see I'm just tapping him lightly on the cheek. Go ahead again. Oh, that time he got me. There we go, I got him. <laughs> so now watch. And certainly if he goes wider, there's still a chance he could, he could block, but you see you know, the probability isn't in his favor. Now if he brings it in just a little bit, just in line with the shoulders, ready? I'm gonna do the same strike. This is much quicker. If he goes out just a little bit, and I got him again. So why does that little distance have such a huge impact? You can relax. Remember, every little distance you go out, every fraction of an inch, or an inch that you go out, you have to come back. So multiply your error times two. That's why a little distance, a little distance in a fight can make all the difference. 